Thousands of people are expected in the downtown area in June for events like the Summer Arts Festival and the College World Series. Following Saturday's deadly shooting just blocks from the taste of Omaha, the Omaha Downtown Improvement District is hosting a meeting this Wednesday to discuss security concerns. Reporter Megan Hahn spoke with a group about possible solutions on the table. Megan? The public is invited to engage with the mayor's office and OPD on ways to make the downtown area safer for visitors. Some options include an underage curfew, increased security, and adding more lights to areas near the Jean Leahy Mall. Signs of a busy Monday near Jean Leahy Mall downtown. But yards away, a somber reminder marking the spot where 20-year-old Jasmine Harris lost her life in a crossfire of gang bullets. This was a bunch of young kids young kids down 15 to 20 down at the, the taste of Omaha enjoying themselves and they were just walking back up here finishing their night and the shooter came out and it was a drive by and he shot into the crowd. These kinds of things happen and we have to figure out how we can do everything we can to prevent them. The violence is prompting the Omaha Downtown Improvement District to consider a downtown curfew banning unsupervised teens after 11 p.m. It'll be modeled after similar curfews in cities like Denver and is something that's been considered before. It would be lovely for the police to be able to go into a crowd of kids and say, okay, ID's out, you got to get out, you got to go, you got to go home. Focusing on solutions, the association plans to add increased security downtown with a guard assigned to patrol 11th and Farnham after dark, an area called a hot spot for disturbances. When you have a, a diverse group of folks, I think every city sees this diversity at 2 o'clock in the morning. Everybody's fueled up by alcohol. They come pouring out of the bars at the same time. Despite the weekend shooting, those who work in the old market say they believe the violence is isolated. I mean, there's people walking around. Um, it, I mean, it seems perfectly safe. I've never felt any sort of threat. I feel like we have a really good relationship with the police that are in the old market. They have a really great presence down here. Um, they come in and check in on us with our shops, and we feel very secure. Uh, when we're down here. The Omaha Downtown Improvement District pays out of pocket for private security. Typically, they have two to four people patrolling on the weekends. They plan to double or increase this number during the month of June. To learn more about Wednesday's public meeting, visit our website at 3newsnow.com. We'll have stories posted. Reporting in studio, I'm Megan Hahn, 3 News Now. To see 